Calibration is fundamentally important to line smarts accuracy. Like any measurement tool, if the calibration is not right, line smarts will return incorrect results. Line smarts automatically calibrates based on information supplied natively by the device it is installed on. However, sometimes the available information isn't enough and the automatic calibration can be wrong. We recommend that users check their device calibration before using it to take measurements. The simplest calibration test is to use line smarts to measure a span for which the length is known. If the span length calculated by line smarts matches the actual span length, the calibration is most likely fine. Otherwise, further calibration will be required. To adjust the calibration, go into Settings, which is a gear icon on the top right, and then Camera Parameters. The numbers shown in this window govern various aspects of a detailed camera calibration. The initial values represent the default calibration. The default values can be returned at any time by selecting the default calibration button. One calibration option that can be performed in the office is to select the manual calibration button and follow the on-screen instructions that appear. However, the method we recommend at this stage is to directly adjust the FX and FY parameters under the camera parameters window until the measured span length matches the actual span length. Generally, FX and FY will be equal, so both should be adjusted at the same time. This example shows a line smarts measurement that captured a couple of streetlights. As shown in the notes, the measured distance between them was 34.97 metres. But using line smarts default calibration parameters, my tablet calculated a span of 34.79 metres. That's close enough that you almost wouldn't worry about it, but for the sake of demonstration we can adjust the calibration to make the measured span match the actual one. First we establish a difference between the actual and measured spans using this equation. In this case I've calculated a difference of half a percent. Next we proceed to the conductor parameter menu under settings. We adjust the FY value by the same percentage but perhaps counterintuitively in the same direction. So in this case the measurement was half a percent low, so we reduce the FY by half a percent, from 3147 to 3132 in this case, and then give FX the same value. We then return to the original measurement. Currently we need to force a recalculation by toggling on and off the horizontal range input tick box. In doing so the measurements are now almost identical. If the initial measurement error is large, this process may be iterative. Several adjustments may need to be made before a satisfactory calibration is reached. Once a good calibration has been reached, it would be worth checking the height of something for which a height is already known, to verify the accuracy of the vertical measurement as well.